In this video, I'm gonna show you setting up your IC705 waterfall. You can see here that I've got uh, it sitting on 40 meters at the moment. You can see the spectrum and there's a few signals there and you know, they stand out. There's a couple of strong signals and a couple of weaker ones there too. However, if you have a look at that, it's not really that, or it, it could be better. The waterfall could be better. This is uh, just default out of the box. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I've set up my waterfall, what it looks like. My question to you, how have you set up your waterfall? What are your settings and uh, how does uh, what I've got here or what I'm gonna show you compare to uh, what you've set up? Uh, I'd be most interested, so please leave a comment below. Just looking here at the moment, you can see we've got quite a few strong signals. If we turn up the volume. You know, we can find these we can find these signals and we can see them there because they're quite strong, but some of these weaker ones we can't see very well. So the first thing to be aware of when you're running the scope is this is the first menu. Just pop it into the second menu and have a look at the reference. So just tap on reference at the moment, it's plus 10. You can see that there's quite a lot of noise here on 40 meters at the moment. So if we turn that down, till it's just about on, so most of that noise uh, disappears. So we can see now, I can see, so there's some signals there, they're probably birdies, but we'll have a look. So just turning down, so just turning down the reference allows us to see those signals a lot better. So you can see that station that's there at the moment. However, the coloring could be a lot better. So how do we change the colors for the waterfall to make it look a lot better? And also all of these signals, like that signal is quite strong at the moment, but it's all showing in a bluish tinge. Let's, what about if we want a red or we want uh, something different? Well, the first thing to do is to go into the, into this menu here, XPD, I think that's expand slash set. So hold that in and it brings up the scope set. Now, I'll show you the settings that I use and you can play around with this depending on how you want your scope to look or how you want it set up. So the first thing that I do is I leave the scope during TX uh, switch to on. Uh, this allows the scope to um, show your transmitted signal. Max hold, uh, I set this to uh, off. Um, you can leave it on if you like. What that does is the last signal that you see, it will in the background show uh, the uh, the maximum peak of the signal and it will hold it there uh, until the signal disappears. Center type display, uh, we change this to carrier point center, absolute frequency, and I'll show you that after. Marker position, uh, levers carrier point. Uh, VBW narrow, I turn averaging on. Averaging on really helps to see where those signal peaks are uh, on the waterfall line, which I'll show afterwards as well. Waveform type, we want fill plus line. Now this is where you change the colors, waveform color current. So that is the current uh, signal that is appearing. So what we want to do is set the, these all to zero. So just tap on them. You can use the plus or minus, but it's just easier to tap on them and use the tuning knob. Go back, uh, waveform color line, we want this one set to a green so that the line that appears is in green and we want maximum hold set to black as I'm not using that so that will be the background maximum hold color. Waterfall display on, waterfall speed is mid Waterfall size, expand screen, that's where you can make how big the waterfall is. Uh, leave that to on mid. Waterfall peak color level. This is where it changes the color of the uh, signal that you receive. So currently it's set to grid eight. I like to set it at grid three and you'll see the difference once this, uh, once we go back. Waterfall marker auto hide on. Uh, just a note on fixed edges. So this is where you can set your waterfall fixed edge frequencies. Uh, if you're in the center menu for, or the center marker menu for the waterfall. 
So you can go through there. I won't cover that in this video, but you can set your frequencies there. So that is now what the waterfall looks like. And you probably see it's probably a little bit out of focus. I'll try and adjust that. There we go. I've just adjusted the camera so that it looks uh, a little bit better on the screen now. But uh, you can see now it's, it's quite clear what's a signal and what's not. So we've got the current um, waveform line, which is in green. That's uh, pulsing up and down. You can see that this is a fairly strong station. It's got red and orange and yellow uh, bits in the signal uh, rather than just that standard blue. You can also see some of the other weaker signals like this one here that's uh, on there at the moment. which is a birdie and also a station at the same time. Along the bottom as well is the absolute, that absolute uh, carrier point center frequency. So as you uh, move the dial, you can see that the frequency moves with you as well. So for instance, uh, if we're sitting here on 7.130, and I can see this signal up here at 7.15, I can quickly go up to around there and then I know that, that he's there and I'm on frequency. You can also adjust the speed, of course, by pressing the speed here, uh, mid and slow, but I like having it run at fast. So I mentioned the fixed edges as well. So if you click on center slash fix, that moves into a center line, which moves up and down as you find frequencies. The frequency range here is seven to 7.3. You can have three edges. If we click on edge, there's the second one, seven megs to 7.030, which is quite narrow. You can see a CW signal there in, in there at the moment. If you click it again, we got 7030 to 7.2. So you can see that I can now move on to that frequency. I can also move down to this one. I can tap on it and move down. And that doesn't change the waterfall. If we go back, if we do this, the waterfall moves and sometimes it's hard to keep up with where the signal actually is. But using that menu uh, option in the waterfall allows us to see all the signals you know, on that particular band. The other good thing about this too is that if you are, for instance, up here listening, let's have a look. If we're up here listening on 7.155 megahertz to a signal, that one there, Oh, he's a bit higher. 7.158 rather. If we're listening to him, but change the edge. And if we just want to look at a signal between 7.7030, we can still be listening to him when he calls again. So we're actually listening on 7.158, but we're looking at the waterfall at the bottom end of seven megs. So, if, for instance, you're working DX on a call channel uh, and you want to monitor a different portion of the band, you can also do that too. And then, of course, if you see a signal pop up, you can simply go tap on the waterfall. So that's how I set up my IC705. Of course, uh, everyone's uh, tastes are different. I'd be interested to know how you set up your waterfall. Please let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.